this is Jacqueline Lowe at Grace That Reigns. Welcome to our Fall into the Light series. Today, we have the pleasure of listening to Rosanna Thill. She was here last month, and this is the second part of our series about the grace of forgiveness. As you may recall, Rosanna shared her painful but powerful story of her own experience of having to go through a divorce and the pain that results from it, but then also the freedom that happens as she seeks the gift of forgiveness, not only for herself, but for her ex-husband. St. Teresa says something of Calcutta that something to that effect, I don't know the exact words, but mm -hmm. you, in order to love, you have to forgive mm -hmm. something like that. And, and it's so true because, and I knew that my children were going to be visiting their home. Mm -hmm. What? Why would I want to have animosity towards them when they're going to be going to their home and they're little? If anything, you know what? If they have a good marriage and they have children, why, why would I want to deprive them of having seen a family that I did not have? Rosanna, my heart aches for you, and I can't imagine how much grace you received during those years. You know, by the grace of God, um, I'm able to get strength. If not, where would I be? St. Maria Faustina, the Divine Mercy, um, looking at that picture. And there, uh, we have a picture of it in, at our church. And I sit there and I say, Jesus, I trust in you. And suddenly there was a change in the healing process, right? You know, three years later, four years later, they started inviting me to have Thanksgiving dinner. And I would go there and we would go for Christmas Day and we started exchanging gifts. And you would never know that we would, it, it's like a blended family. And my children to this day do not know what has happened. Mm -hmm. That's how it started. You mean God's grace of healing? They may have figured it out, but I don't know. I don't talk about it. I don't say anything about it. I just love them for who they are. Gosh. And how hard was that? I mean, I think of myself in that position, and I just really have to say that I respect you for your fortitude and your honesty and your ability to follow Christ because he forgave us. You were able to turn around and forgive your former husband. And that's all I do. <laughs> I know it's an ongoing thing, but how long did it take for you to get through the whole process of forgiveness? Well, see, it took probably about about the third to fourth year to just letting go and just, you know, I have found that because um, I'll just give an example of what could have happened. I have encountered then um, a couple of friends who went through divorces or know people who went through divorces who had little children. Mm hmm and um, they cannot stand their spouse. They cannot, they they um, speak poorly of their spouse. They fight with the, the, the other person's spouse, you know. And then the children, the children, it's not their fault. And then they go to one home and they hear this, this not peacefulness and they go to another home and it's just, and if I, I'm telling, this is what I prayed for. I said, you know, if, again, if I cannot have this family, God, give my children the family that they can see a model of a family because this is going to impact them for the rest of their life. And I, if I did not make that decision, mm -hmm. I probably would not have this love that I have for their family. And now that, their little boy, who's now 13, going to be 14, mm -hmm. you know, now he has a rare kidney disease. Mm -hmm. And they're going through their own stresses. And I pray for them. And I ask you to pray for them. And my family's praying for them. Rosanna, what, what would you recommend to someone who's going through the same experience you had gone through, a divorce or separation experience? and who really want to live the life as Catholics? You know, I would, 
I would really recommend the Sister Maria Faustina, the Divine Mercy, because mm -hmm. I believe, I believe a lot of it has to do with not forgiving ourselves. Okay, what do you mean by that? You know, we carry that and we have to forgive ourselves for whatever it is. It doesn't matter. We just, bad things or whatever, they can be forgiven. And I believe that's unlocking mm -hmm. a lot of what people want to drown out, you know, drown out through um, bad behaviors, you mm -hmm. know, finding. And I do believe that the evil one tempts us and say, oh, you're feeling bad. You're feeling angry. Mm -hmm. You're not here. Here, do this. This will make you feel better. So in a sense, then you're speaking about our various distractions, right? Whatever it may be. And then it turns out to be horrible, the opposite. So mm -hmm. if we, if someone's, if somebody is, is distinguishing, you know, through if it's not coming out peaceful, mm -hmm. then it's not right. And I think Bishop Gilmore talked about, um, gosh, I think it was during Lent, like, like something in your, like something that you start to feel internally. Yes, he was talking about something that you know is not quite right, like like an eyelash in your eye. It's like an irritation. Something's mm -hmm. moving you, like if you're starting to feel uncomfortable, you know, mm -hmm. you're starting to feel like, oh, you know, like, a, like, like this is not right. It isn't right. Mm -hmm. so, that's, so I hope I answered that correctly. Yes, Rosanna, you did a great job. So I have another question, Rosanna. Were you ever angry at the Catholic Church or angry at God because this has happened to you? Oh, never at the Catholic Church. No, and and um, I don't think I was ever angry at God. I just I would just ask God why me. You know, I would. How come I? How come? You know, I didn't blame him, um, but I would just question. I just want to be married with my whole heart and have the family. And, um, yeah. yeah, I get it. Let's go on to the next topic. Do you feel a fullness from what the Lord has given you now because, because he has given you time to get to know him? Well, that's where I think it has been. The, it seems like God wants me to become closer and closer and closer to him where some of these things that meant a lot to me before are just not as important to me anymore. I just want to be closer to him. And um, I find myself, you know, in much more prayer in the last four year, last few years. I wake up and I can, I just want to give thanks and just spend what I thought was 15 minutes before. It turns like into an hour now. Just reading the Bible, reading the book, giving him things, saying the little rosary. And that's a good change in your life. There's hope, isn't there? That gives me peace. And and, for, and I feel encouragement. I feel like it's going to be okay. Yeah, it's going to be okay. You're definitely going to be okay. You just have to keep keep with that. Sometimes, however, when you have a dip, what do you do? You know, when you feel like you're drowning, I think the best thing uh, is to kneel and put my head down on the ground and say, God, you know, just, I'm bringing it to the cross. What happens to you when you pray like that? All of a sudden, this, this little peace would come over me, and I would feel stronger. It's kind of a weird thing, but I just felt, like, encouraged. So... And I still call upon it till this day. Rosanna, thank you for this wonderful, <laughs> wonderful, honest, bearing soul, honest um, interview with you. Um, I don't know if I would have been a faithful servant and react in the same way you did, because it was very challenging. But you set the tone, and I look at you as a model of faith and a great disciple of God, and a good friend of mine. It's still an ongoing journey, and uh, there are no coincidences. And thank you for putting 
not only yourself in my life, but um, like Jacqueline, who can guide us and um, maybe help others. So I wanted to say thank you. Um, yes. Hey, wait, don't go away. Here's the epilogue. Rosanna's two boys, Christopher and Cameron, are doing fine. They're in their early 20s and discovering the world and their own faith. Rosanna now trains and participates in triathlons. She participates in swimming, running, and biking, and is in great shape. And she is doing amazing and has just accepted a new job where she stays in Arizona. And of course, her dad, Henry Cota, is doing really well. So if you can, please pray for this little family. Life is a journey. They're still going through stuff. But with God, all things are possible. Thank you everyone for joining us in this episode of Fall into the Light with Rosanna Thill. If this episode impacted your life, subscribe to our YouTube channel and donate to us at www.gracethatreigns.com. This is Jacqueline Lowe saying goodbye. Oh, 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 oh,